Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction. And today we're gonna to walk through Anya's Choice. It's made with three basic sections to create our block. And our block is right here. And when they're sewn together side by side, they create a secondary star, which creates that beautiful look to our quilt. To start, we're gonna do the half square triangle. And with that, you can either draw a pencil line down the center and sew a quarter inch on either side, or you can use Fonts and Porter's little ruler. They generally have two. And what you're doing there is drawing a, your pencil line, but that is your stitch line when you're making your hourglass. So real quickly, we'll stitch <clears throat> Just to make the hourglass, we're doing the same steps as when we do our half square triangles. Stitch. and now we're going to cut it in half and you can use your scissors or your rotary Oops. and then we need to press and when you do this method it makes two hourglasses again and then either draw your line from point to point or grab your fonts and porter quarter inch marker and draw your line push those seams up nice and close if you have a problem with it you go ahead and slip a pin in there but kind of hold it and double check that you're nice and close on that intersection And then again, either a quarter inch from your line or on the line, depending on which method you're using. <clears throat> Same step, straight edge. Cut. and now we have our hourglass and you'll cut off the little dog ears and we have two of them and that is actually the center of our block which you can see right there and you may have to square it up definitely cut your dog ears off and then move on to one of the other sections of our block and that is actually the kite section this one right here and to do our kite we use a tool that looks like this and this is a kitty corner tool that makes these beautiful kites and to start you cut a square that's for your kite you give it just a little press just so that you get that fold you don't need to press it in there it's real hard, but just enough that it holds that fold. Now these kites are gonna be a little oversized, but you go to step one and line it up and cut. And there's our kite. Now we'll take a rectangle <clears throat> and we go to step two and then this cuts our rectangle into our left 
in our right. Oh, let's see. Get myself turned around. Up. Oh, there we go. We get a left and a right that goes on to our um, kite section. And one little step that I forgot that's very important, as you can see, when we go to line up, we've got an extra, we're not quite sure, do we line up down here, up here? Well, to solve that, there's a little kind of V on your tool, and you just cut that little tiny tip off, and now you know where to line up your sections. So then you'll line them up. We'll do, we'll do one, just kind of line it up. Stitch it. press and now you're ready to line up the other side once you have these made you will go back and you'll see the markings for squares you will turn and you will line this little guy up I'm gonna go in this way you'll line him up and you'll trim do a half turn and trim and you have a perfect block that fits me trying to see which piece there we go well it will just pin right now so that we don't have to sew absolutely everything because you understand all the sewing parts and then we will continue to our third section so there's our beautiful height that goes in that section. So the last one is this triangle. And this is a triangle you'll see in a block that's called 5440 or fight because it's got a little different angle to it. And to create that, we use a triangle that this one is called triangle squared. And it actually is about a 63 degree so you cannot use your 60 degree. As much as we like our 60 degree triangle, it's not gonna quite get us the right angle to create this narrow section here. It just isn't quite right. But to do this when you have a full strip of fabric, you'll lay it out, the tip has been cut so you can line it off, and then you just cut. So. You can go back and forth on your strip and cut out all that you need. So in this case, I have mine cut. And the nice thing about this particular matchup with our kite and with our 60 degree triangle is they take the exact same smaller triangles to make them a square. So when you start cutting your triangles for your kite, they are the triangles, actually as you cut out your rectangles to create your kite, it's the same rectangle sliced that creates our block. The difference is, is in like the kite, we're sewing them this way. This time we're sewing them this way so that it creates that beautiful square. And these two are a little oversized, so you need to go back and square them up. And on these, when I went to square them up, I went ahead and used this ruler again, because it does have a quarter inch mark. The difference was is I lined up my big printed triangle up and down, not like the kite at an angle. So anyway, you would just go through. <clears throat> Again, it, it doesn't hurt to cut the little tip off, get it lined up a little bit. 
I'll sew one side for you. You'll see that it's a little oversized. Press, come back, sew the other one on. You'll have your seam allowance here. That's what you'll line up your quarter inch with when you square it up. And then you'll trim to the right size that they're all marked on there. The part you have to remember about this tool is these numbers are your finished size. And the finished size is what actually measures from here to here. So finished size does not have the seam allowance. But those are your three main sections of the block in this beautiful quilt. So I hope you like our Anya's Choice and check us out at junctionfabric.com and all the fun little buttons that show up below the video. If you would press a thank you button, we appreciate it. So once again, thank you for watching us here at Fabric Junction.